still pretty cool out there today, but it was calm, not much going on. It was very calm, but we're going to see a little bit of a change in that over the next couple of hours. We do have some rain chances and even some chances of flurries on the way. Nothing overnight. major, though. Hopefully. Nothing major. No, okay, just a good. light dusting. <laughs> but it was a beautiful day. Nice picture coming in from our Jackson Weather Service cam. That time lapse of the day. A couple of clouds moving through the sky here and there, but all in all, nice, quiet, calm day. And even temperatures on the mild side, 45 degrees there right now. And we're seeing temperatures similar to that throughout the rest of the area. Now, as far as the rest of the night goes, we do have a slight chance of a mix of precip possible starting quickly after the sun goes down and then tomorrow morning even a chance of some lingering flurries in the area but then this weekend warm and sunny and even feeling like a little bit of spring but temperatures right now fairly mild 46 in Painesville 45 for Jackson Moorhead down to 43 in Middlesbrough down to 41 degrees a little bit breezy out there as well so if you do plan to go outside throw on a jacket maybe a windbreaker winds anywhere from around 8 up to 10 even 14 miles per hour throughout the area and these breezy conditions are actually going to stick around throughout the rest of the night and into tomorrow. But as far as pinpoint Doppler goes, clear out there for now, but then quickly after the sun goes down. That's when we're going to see a slight chance of a wintry mix coming into the forecast. But until then, nice, quiet, calm temperatures hanging out in the lower 40s and then dropping down to the upper 30s. Now, over the next couple of hours, just a mix of sun and clouds, but then quickly the rain starts to move into the area, starting in the north and then continuing to push towards the south and then tomorrow morning a chance of some flurries now overnight tonight before midnight that's when we're expecting to see the mix of freezing rain mixed in with those flurries and then tomorrow morning after midnight that's when we're expecting to transition to just snow so watch for very icy conditions along your morning commute tomorrow and even late tonight if you're planning on heading out past midnight but after that we are going to see the snow chances pretty much go away and the sun will come out just in time for your friday afternoon and then the rest of your friday night looking like a fairly good night now as far as accumulations go just a light dusting between now and tomorrow morning and then into tomorrow afternoon we can say goodbye to the snow chances and then for this weekend looking like a very nice weekend by saturday night hardly any clouds in the sky from Friday afternoon into your Saturday night. So looking like a very, very good weekend. But like I said, again, remember the commute in the morning, not going to be the best as far as road conditions go because of the chance of some black ice and some slick conditions on the roadways. Temperatures dropping down to the upper 20s by tomorrow morning, down to the upper 20s over in Paintsville, right around 27 degrees, 29 for Mount Vernon. And again, the mixed precip starts tonight transitioning to just snow by tomorrow morning. Temperatures hanging out in the upper 30s for the rest of the evening hours and then for tomorrow, eventually making it above freezing right around noon. And then after that, we'll make it into about the upper to mid 30s throughout the area. And then again, just a fairly mild day for your Friday. Come Saturday, that's when we're looking at very nice warm conditions in the area and then Sunday that continues into then as well upper 50s even nearing 60 and then Monday again another day of nearing 60 come Tuesday Tuesday night we could see some heavy rainfall moving into the area as a cold front pushes through and then the rainfall will continue into your Wednesday and then eventually cooling off back down to more seasonable temperatures by Thursday. Well I like the weekend forecast maybe we can get all the kids back in school by Monday. That would be nice. Yeah. <laughs>